Okay. Give him a beat. Um, so what we're doing is it's Chrissy and Tony's engagement and they got a really big rasterized photo of themselves. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know how big. 70, 72 A4 page. pages. 72 A4 pages. And it's of them on the beach. So Kevin and I are going to go down to the beach and take an identical photo. I'm being Chrissy. <laughs> Kevin's being Tony, and we're going to put it up on the wall while everybody's out <laughs> as a present to them. Classic. That is a very good present. Mm. Let's just go down the end of this beach. Yeah, they won't be there. Also, if they see us, let's we'll go to a beach where uh, no one will be there because I have to wear Claire's crop top. <laughs> Kevin has to be shirtless. I think it's all Chrissy's. No, it's Claire's. <laughs> I panicked. <laughs> MGMT. I'm not a huge fan. Oh, she lost her hat. <laughs> You're crazy! Wind woman. This is the gong. Kevin, I'll get a song that you will love. Alright, what just happened? What are you wearing under there? I'll show you what just happened. I just dressed up as Chrissy on the beach and uh, felt very, very homosexual for a good 10 seconds because Kevin was all up on my shoulder with his hairy chin. <laughs> oh man. So we're going to Officeworks now to print off the rastification. Or the rest, restics? The, yes. The no sign of them? No sign. Just drive past them. Beep beep! She the hobby. In, right. To the print section in the back right corner. Free internet access. Alright, film me. It's running hobby. What are you up to now, Kev? Um, I'm just going to log in with my Gmail, download the photo we just took, and upload it to the rest of data. <laughs> and the rest, as they say, is history. Hopefully it works. Hopefully they're not there when we get back out. Oh, I left something at the house. <laughs> Which is all these papers. <laughs> right, we'll just return the uh, cups of tea that we have. Alright, I'll get you back later. Here's a photo. As it loads. I don't know it's function call. That's not really good. Phew. <laughs> Hello, ladies. <laughs> Alright, right, I'll stop. My hair. Plan foiled. The rastabation didn't work. Plan B didn't work. Plan B didn't work. No one's home. No one has a printer. How are people going to know that we're classic when we can't even <laughs> print a stupid photo? By watching this video. Yes. Oh. I've been wearing Claire's top around all morning. It's really hot. I don't know how you like deal with this, Claire, all the time. <laughs> Check it. Still wearing it. What time is it? It's 12. It's 10 to 1. I haven't done anything today except women wear women's clothing. That's a good day in my books. <laughs> yeah. Plan F. Plan F. Uh, no one is um, around and Officeworks doesn't seem to want to print stuff. So we're going back to the blue house and hoping they have a print there and we're going to print one A4 sheet and stick it on the corner of their rastification. Done and done. <sighs> what, what, a, what a debacle. Wow, what a debacle. Who knew girls would be so much trouble? Not me. <laughs> I did. We're still on a break. <laughs> Plan F in action. <laughs> so we're trying to um get this. I think we have like less than 20 minutes. 
What? What? I don't know. Lisa and Anna and Chrissy, you stress me out with your lack of stuff <laughs> for our surprise. That's your sister. Crazy Sarah. Alright, here goes nothing. What's nothing? Oh, here goes nothing. Here goes nothing. Come on, three. Open up on me, mate. Do you want to go work out how to put the paper in? I can't click the wireless internet icon. It's hiding behind all these other icons, and it's really annoying. And right now, I'm on the floor in Lisa's bedroom. And no one knows we're here. There we go, three. Three mobile broadband. Please upgrade to before installing the application. I don't wanna, what? What? The system is down. I give up. Are they gone? They're coming up. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey! Hey! Oh, we just uh, returned the teacups. Yeah, oh, huh? Oh, you my computer? No! Nah. Uh, Lisa's room. Lisa's room. Oh, what were you doing there? Nothing. Uh. You were dressing up in. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> we were dressing up in Lisa's clothes. <laughs> No. <laughs> that was like your first assumption. <laughs> nah, you'll find out. <laughs> well, we tried to go up in Lisa's clothes. Oh, sorry, Anna. Sorry. Way off. Yeah, that was scary. Way off. <laughs> that was scary. Why were you running? Nothing. We gotta go. Yeah, we gotta go. Bye. Wait, we're gonna show Amy Santo and Ed. Do you wanna see her response? I accidentally shut it down. He has this little lame thing and get like busted. You're a lame prank. <laughs> It's <laughs> not a lame prank. Uh, no. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Try and find some evidence of a lame prank. You won't find any. When, right. when is this going to be revealed? In due time. What? What's going to be revealed? I don't know. I what the hell are you doing? We were just hanging out. We were just hanging out. I've seen it. I've seen it. Seen what? Did you do anything on my computer? No. no. no but it is in Lisa's room. Why did you go in Lisa's room? I'll show you where it is. <laughs> Amy, you are not involved in this. <laughs> you don't know what's going on. Oh, I do. She does. You'll I find do. out what what happened. Do. Our story on Kevin's YouTube day. <gasps> we filmed it. Rap about your YouTube day. <laughs> oh, Amy. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, ladies. Have a good afternoon. Oh, it's so creepy. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe we got caught. Anna, <laughs> were you wearing Lisa's clothes? Yes. We should have said yes. <laughs> yes, yes, we were. Oh well. See you, Tony. See you, Tony. Is Rob still around? Uh, hello. What happened? What did we just do? We just watched Inception. And what did we decide, Helga? Hello? What did we decide on Inception? Um, it's all a dream. Good. Pretty good. It was Where all a dream. You? Need to watch it maybe five times. There's no reality. <laughs> There's no reality. I'm just feeling my day today, so it is part of it. <laughs> Is this oh. part of your big plan? This is part of my big plan. We could sound really intelligent to say it made perfect sense. <laughs> yeah, it well, made to the perfect Well, obviously, I knew that was going to happen. I knew that, you know. I thought the wife would, would, uh, would come back. I thought the wife, it would find some loophole that the wife is actually still alive. I thought it was going to be all the wife's dream or something. Yeah. I, like some I, crazy I, twist. I thought it was all going to be Joseph Gordon-Levitt's character. <laughs> I want more of him. <laughs> I thought there was gonna be some big twist though, like like a like an like a twist that would make sense. I reckon that that twist was pretty big at the end. I thought no, no, like it was a big twist, but I thought there was a, a big a huge twist. One. Like yeah. it was actually all the wife's dream, or yeah. it was all some like it was all Fisher's dream, or like, like it, it was all back on there, or something like that. Did, have you seen Memento? No. Oh, uh, that's um same director, yeah. but like there's a huge twist in that movie at the end. You're like, oh my goodness. Like the Prestige as well. Yeah, that kind of twist. He must have liked doing those big twists. What he a twist! Really do them in the Batman. Oh, nah, the twist was that it's What's just awesome. What's the about? It's about this guy who's um, tracking down his his wife's murderer, oh, okay. but um, he has this condition where he can't mem remember anything. So he tattoos what he finds, like all the clues oh, he finds on his body. This guy Pierce and stuff. 
But there's a huge... How old is that? Pretty old. I reckon you'd start to understand it more. But you'd still be asking questions because it leaves, leaves it open. Yeah, you'd never know. You just talk and talk and talk. All I can say is, I would turn gay for Joseph Gordon Levitt. In that sharp little suit. He looks and that he gun. Loves it pretty well. it but I'll tell you what was a cool scene the one where they were in the hotel and it was like, a oh, gone and how did they film that? How did they, they film that? Maybe underwater or something. How did they film the mirror scene? They actually made a room that spun around. But then, like, they kept going to different rooms and it was like flying all over the place. But they actually made, like, all set that's moved. That would be so uncomfortable to film. <laughs> like, it, like, it would be like one of those really bad amusement park rocks. So, how Having, after watching Inception, I have to tip my brain back to what we were doing before this morning, which mainly involves this. <laughs> Still work at Officeworks. Gonna get my mind back on track now. Stop thinking about JGL and Leonardo and get onto rasterizing and maximizing the opportunity. What did you think of Inception? What, what's your theory? I think that it was a good movie. <laughs> I don't know. I don't like being filmed. <laughs> <laughs> Obvs. Dreams. Helga had an interesting theory that it's all part of Michael Caine's plan. Fyling said, Inception blew my mind, then took the remaining bits and blasted them into outer space. That's about right. Inception! Now we come in here to look for something I was like C D from last night. I think it was somewhere. Down here inside maybe. 